The United States is set to announce it has reached an agreement with Cuba to reopen embassies in each other's capital, but the normalization of diplomatic relations is expected to take some time since the two sides still have a number of issues to settle. Hang Sang-hee reports. U.S. President Barack Obama is set to announce on Wednesday that the United States and Cuba will reopen embassies in their respective countries. Citing a senior official, the Associated Press reported Tuesday that Obama will make the announcement at the White House at 11 a.m. local time. A similar announcement is likely to be made by the Cuban government. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry will travel to Havana later this month for a flag-raising ceremony to reopen the American embassy. The historic step between the longtime foes follows a December 17th announcement that they would move to restore relations. This was followed by a summit between Obama and his Cuban counterpart Raul Castro in Panama in April. And since then, the two sides have been negotiating the re-establishment of embassies in Havana and Washington. The U.S. cut off diplomatic relations with Cuba in 1961 after Fidel Castro's revolution. But while the opening of embassies marks a milestone in improving U.S.-Cuba relations, problems remain. They include talks on human rights and possible cooperation on law enforcement, including the touchy subject of U.S. fugitives sheltering in the Cuban capital. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.